Well, thanks for clicking on the video here at CoinLocal6.com. I'm Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman. Here's what's happening. Uh, radars look pretty impressive as we've gone through our Tuesday evening, but the reality is the air is so dry that as those raindrops fall through that dry air, they tend to evaporate, and only a few sprinkles end up making it to the ground. And that's kind of the pattern we're in as we go through the overnight and into early Wednesday. We could see a few isolated showers Wednesday morning. These are going to try and sneak inland. We'll see how much progress they make as we get started with our day. But the east wind drops off and overall the storm track split in two which just means nothing really strong can get to us because the storms are weakening as they're on their way in. So here's raincast, and we go through the evening hours on Tuesday, not much going on. Wednesday morning, there is the possibility for some scattered light showers. They really don't amount to much, though, or last very long either. Maybe a sprinkle as we go through the day on Thursday, and then skies clear for a while as we go through the second half of Thursday. That should be a mild day. Then as we get into Friday morning, it looks like we could get a quick shot of some very light rain. Before you guessed it, we go back to dry weather again. So overall, nothing too exciting. And it's amazing because well, this very week in 1996, we were experiencing our 100-year flood in Portland, the Willamette River reaching its highest point since 1894 after all of the flooding and the rain on top of the snow and ice. Now, central and eastern Oregon, you start the day Wednesday below freezing. West of the mountains with all the clouds, it's going to be much warmer than that, around 40 most places. Highs in the 50s along the coast, some possible showers and some sun breaks in the works. For the Willamette Valley, I think it's the same thing. We'll see an isolated shower or two and some sprinkles, and then we'll also see some partly sunny skies at times. Central and eastern Oregon, we've had these patches of freezing fog that have been kind of stubborn, and some of them will still be hanging out. Otherwise, we'll call it high clouds overhead and cruising through. Over the Cascades, a few snow and rain showers. The snow level is 5,000 feet, but honestly, there's not a ton of moisture to work with, so I don't expect very much of either. And through the gorge, here's the great news. East wind, just 5 to 10 miles an hour as we get into our Wednesday. So that relentless east wind is finally dying off. So an isolated shower or sprinkle through the day with partly sunny skies and high temperatures making their way into the 50s. Look at Thursday, mid-50s for highs. And uh, that's about it. Have a great week from all of us right here on the Pinpoint Weather Team.